Now, in our country, Nigeria, public office holders hardly resigned from their appointments. So, resignation of the Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohamed, from office came, came out of the blues. While citizens would want to attribute the resignation to recent allegations against him by 14 justices of the Apex Courts, the CJN cited health grounds as the rationale behind his action. Justice Mohamed's resignation is coming on the heels of allegations of poor welfare and corruption by justices of the Supreme Court. Let's share an update on the story with you. Section 231, subsection 4 of the 1999 Constitution as amended, says that if the office of the Chief Justice of Nigeria is vacant or if the person holding the office is for any reason unable to perform the functions of the office, the President shall appoint the most senior justice of the Supreme Court to perform those functions. And that would be 64-year-old Justice Olukayode Tajuddin Ariwola, who hails from Isai Oyo State. He studied law at the University of Ife, now Obafemi Awolowo University, and backed his Bachelor of Laws degree with honors in July 1980. In July 1981, he was called to the Nigerian bar and got enrolled at the Supreme Court of Nigeria as a solicitor and advocate. After stints serving at the Oyo State Judiciary as a state counsel, he left to go into private practice, and in 1989, he set up his own private practice. In 1992, he became the judge of the Oyo State Judiciary. Justice Ariwola was later elevated to the Court of Appeal between 2005 and 2011. On November 22, 2011, he was appointed as a justice of the Supreme Court. Before his elevation to the Supreme Court, he served as justice of the Court of Appeal in Kaduna, Enugu, and Lagos Divisions. Earlier in June 2022, Justice Ariwola led 13 other Supreme Court justices to condemn alleged unfair conditions and poor budgetary allocations of work under Justice Mohammed's leadership. They also accused the CJN before his resignation of corruption, misconduct, and neglecting the welfare of the court's personnel, which he denied. Okay. Sam, immediately I got wind of that story, so I just went back into my, uh, <laughs> the drawing board. So I now listed... Oh, Kayode Ariwola, Datijo Mohammed, and um, Kudirat Kikeyeku. Right. So it was my big uncle, Ebun Adeguru I say, that actually <laughs> you know, corrected me. Yeah. He said, Ayo, it is. Yeah. By hierarchy, hierarchy, the most senior person is the person that's going to become the acting CJN. And he told me that, look, that that is the practice and everything. I thought, it's just the, um, the NJC, we have three lists, give to Mr. President, and Mr. President will now cherry pick. So now it's by hierarchy. And next in the hierarchy, after the, um, after the retirement of Justice Mrs. Odili last month, yeah. it's automatically Kayode Ariwola. Yeah. Well, interesting developments within the judiciary. Um, the news of uh, the CJN's, um, the former CJN's uh, resignation came, you know, like um, out of the blues, as it were, on a Sunday. You know, um, you don't expect things like that to happen, to happen uh, when some of us are supposed to be in church and all that. I can't but, remember any, <laughs> any CJN that actually resigned. Yeah. Um, well, the man before him, Onohe, uh, was, uh, was, give, was, we know, we we, was <laughs> giving some kind of soft line. Yes, if you remember. yes. So, you could also argue that um, he also resigned. Controversial so, resignation. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, interesting development, um, as I said. Um, I, I indeed saw your conversation, the conversation of, on Facebook, mm -hmm. and how, you know, uh, uh, everyone, 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 yeah, re, you know, responded to it. So what you have seen is, is like following tradition. Um, mm -hmm. We hope that uh, the new man will bring, you know, um, vibrancy you know, to, that, to that position because you know um, the, 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 the events leading up to the resignation of uh, Justice Tanko uh, Mohammed mm. you know um, we're not we're not pretty very clear so mm. uh, I think that even the new man uh, was a signatory to that 
to that. Uh, no, he led. He led. Yeah. Justice Arroyola yeah, actually so, led the, the, the yeah. So the, that, the rebels. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That means that means he has his hands full and he has his job cut out mm. for him because you can't sit back as a critic, find yourself on the same the same table and then now, not, not do what is right. Table. So so as it is, um, it will be interesting to see how the new CGN you know uh, takes off. With all the you know um, challenges you know that uh, lie ahead of him, having led the so-called 14 you know rebels, who you know raised the uh, uh, claims of uh, poor performance, you know on the on the former CGN. So Ayo, just as I said, interesting times ahead. Adekule, from what I'm saying, that controversy, I cannot separate that controversial letter from this resignation, although. Health ground was, you know, stated by uh, Justice Tanko Mohammed, but a lot of Nigerians are still saying that no. It's less than one week that uh, Justice Ariwala led the, <laughs> the the rebellion against uh, the, the CGN, and the CGN actually replied saying that the ah, justice are meant to be <laughs> to be not to be had. I also. <laughs> <laughs> let's, no, not to be let's be fair. You see, what the former CGN did was commendable. Resigning mm. was a good thing. Yes, we need to set records. We don't have that kind of history in Culture. our country. Mm. People like to fight dirty over all this. They don't, they don't want to leave. But when you go back, I won't say it's Justice Arwala led. It's all the 14 judges, I mean, justices, court. and a total vote of no confidence mm. passed on him. Mm. And you know what that By means. And look at it very well. They were fair to him. He had enough time. I think the letter was written in March. If I read, if and it was leaked. So it, was it, it, was, it wasn't leaked, leaked since then. Mm. So you had enough time. And when the thing became a public, you know, matter. Mm. Look at the way the former uh, <laughs> chief justice reacted. So he blew it. But I said, let's be fair to him. He's been battling with some air challenges, just like maybe every other person. So if he said he's on Health because ground. of air ground, mm. let's believe. But the truth is, he's leaving the judiciary at a time when things are thoroughly bad. His retirement time was meant to be um, December 2023. Yeah, but it was meant yeah. to even swear in a new president Some in other, March 2023. Some people have been expecting this long time, at least when he was always going abroad, medical challenges, medical okay. issues, and all that, because at the time it was even bad. But now, when you go back to what has just happened, it's all the, ju all the justices, not just Justice Ariwala. Your name may have confessed, but mm. all of them signed. As all. Is the they most defined, you know, in mm. Nigeria, we do things, Ibu, Yoruba, Ausa, and all those things. They defied all that, mm. all of mm. them. Mm. They didn't remember one is Igbo, one is Notana, one is Muslim, one is as we love to do in our country. So they all rose against him. And unfortunately, when he will reply, he messed up the opportunity. You now started lecturing your colleagues. Oh, we are meant to be seen. We are not meant to be heard. We are meant to be do. No. He messed up a wonderful opportunity. You see, it doesn't take a Nostradamus to think that this thing, this day will come. Mm. The Nigerian judiciary has been a cesspool of mess, corruption. Believe me, this just the remaining fourteen just you know justices are not any way better than the immediate CGN. Let's be honest. Let's just take it. You the can, system, no, that is it. Uh, you can't substantiate. The I'm not saying. I'm not saying they. Are, I'm not saying they are corrupt. Mm. The system. Are they not all justices? Yes. You understand me? So no one has been able to prove that this man stole any money. So nobody should think like that. But we are talking about, you know, uh, I think it's about the system being dysfunctional. The, and then mm. you, you being uh, incompetent in handling certain okay. situations. That's uh, it. Okay, Sam. Now, if you look at the composition of the NJC, 
the NGC is just so lopsided. A lot of people have been complaining about the NGC. Now, the CGN is the chairman of the NGC. Right. And the CGN has the prerogative, you know, of, it will, it's meant to appoint like 70% when you see the composition of that NGC. You, now, if there's anybody, if there's any judge that, you know, you know that they want to bring you know, to, to justice, it will always go through this NGC. And in the same NGC, Tanko Mohamed was the chairman of NGC. Oh. And if any judge wants to report, they will have to report to the NGC. You know? I, I, let, it, let us put it this way so that those who are watching us will understand what we're trying to say. Basically, once the head is rotten, the rest of the body is, is gone. Mm. That's just the way to paint it. So if we had um, a CGN, who uh, more than 90% mm, of, like of, 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 of his colleagues, you know, um, termed as um, not, not competent enough, you know, as having shown, you know, signs of um, maladministration, okay, then you can understand what we're talking about. So you had, this, you had a man who was poorly rated, sitting over an institution that ought to mm. oversee Discipline within the judiciary. So, are you are right when you begin when you, you're trying to paint this scenario of a one-on-one -on -one relationship between the quality of leadership that you get and how the entire system you know works. So, I, I would agree with um, with um, I don't uh, yeah that that it's this, this the system is entirely dysfunctional and you're wondering what magic will be wrought by the person who is coming. Mm. All right. So mm. you, you need a total disruption. Somebody who is okay. courageous, who is bold enough, from you know, to effect that kind of change that we are looking up to. Thank you for joining us, Adi. Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good yes. Go ahead, uh, Adi. I, yeah. My contribution to this issue is that it's not in our constitution that when a judge is sick, he will resign. No. If he dies, removed or he retired. You don't resign. If that you remove or retire. What happened. And I, this one went because of that. the corruption, corrupt corruption allegation against him. That's why he left. He don't want to speak to come out like they do to the former uh, CG. For a contribution. My own. Because the position is an appointive yes, position, he can resign any day. Yeah, I mean, corruption yeah, charges or not. Now, I'm worried. When I was growing up, you know, the University of Lagos, those days, that we took uh, public and international law mouth, yeah. and when you hear of landmark mark cases, you get the judgment of the likes of Kai Justice Kai Shaw, yeah, Justice Nikki Tobi, Justice... Uh, do, you, uh, do you understand? <laughs> and now, the equality of the people we have occupying that sacred chamber right now, I, I, I can't really <laughs> place my hand on the last time I've actually gone through a judgment and I could see the, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to, how to describe it. Uh, yeah. If you look at, if you look at the inception of this administration, President Mohamed mm. he was always complaining about malfeasance in the judiciary. Ah. And some of us thought... It still seems Supreme is, Court that we, like, we had the likes of Chuku Dupo, Puta... We, some of us thought he would use his time to sanitize that arm of government. That never happened. Under this, in the last seven years, you have seen unprecedented, unprecedented you know, uh, ethnicization, politicization of, you know, appointment, recruitment, and promotion of judges. To, let me tell you, this is at the detriment of everybody. Because at the end of the day, you wouldn't bring the very best. You will see, look at, in the last three, four years, see a lot that has happened under the judiciary. You know, so much that everything is now being determined about uh, where you come from, uh, sometimes the... the so all this in our judiciary has been on for a long time, but it's been worse in the past few years. Those who are there, do you know 
some of them are worried too. Mm -hmm. And when you see some SANs, when they talk, they get frightened that are we going to continue this way? To me, I believe this is an opportunity to say, okay, what can we do? Can we reform this, uh, the judiciary once and for all? That do, can we have a judiciary that all of us can be proud of? You get my point? Instead of saying, oh, who is the next? He has taken over and he's going to National Assembly. They are confirming. They are not confirming. Those are the things we'll be doing. But this is an opportunity, as far as I'm concerned, to say, OK, let's clean the ocean's table. OK. I have another call from the United Kingdom. Wow. Seaborn calling from UK. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Yes, thank you for joining us. Yeah, please. Uh, like, uh, I'm listening to what is happening about the CGN resigning. Uh, actually, uh, if he's sick, fine. I bet the judiciary in Nigeria, I think what is going on there now, because of one reason or the other, you people are not elaborative enough to give details of what is happening. Is it fear of the government or whatever? I know your hand. Where is Mr. Uh, um, GDA, please? That is. Subban, there's nothing to elaborate here. Somebody's resigning on the health ground. I don't know. He has not been indicted by any court of competent yes. jurisdiction. Then <laughs> his, his colleagues passed a vote of no confidence. That's <laughs> what and you know about And there's nothing wrong his, for him huh? to, to elaborate if he has anything to say about <laughs> yeah, it. He has he, the floor. He, he probably, uh, uh, well, let me not put myself Well, maybe you know what we don't know. And that's why I say he, he, when yes, he had he the floor, can, yeah. he didn't elaborate as well. <laughs> yeah, because we can't, we can't get into details beyond what we already know. Mm -hmm. I mean, this mm -hmm. CGN submission and said he was not feeling too, too well. Yes. And there are reports about him frequenting the hospitals and all that. So we'll just give it to him. Does he have the right? It's, it, it, is it well within his right to yes. resign his yeah. 100%. appointment? Yes, 100%. Right. Yeah, so, I mean, like, but, you, you can't force him to continue, you know, to sit on the job when he is um, indisposed and cannot, con or, ca or, or, you know, cannot con continue on the job. So, all, all, all that we know for now is that the National Assembly has decided to wade into the matter. Mm. Game, I mean, before his resignation. Mm, right. So... I don't know whether that's part of why the resignation came <laughs> earlier than Maybe expected. Maybe it was just like a <laughs> that. Mm -hmm. So, but think it's better. But it's, it's better to work with the reason cited in his letter. Absolutely. That on head grants. Mm -hmm. So every other thing is speculative, oh, and nobody has been able to prove that the man has committed any crime. Mm -hmm. So there is no anything. What do you want to elaborate on? And, and even we if, don't if, trade on speculation. If, he has not committed any crime. Mm. Yeah, and even if even if he did, it's it's up to members of the public to approach the courts. I mean, we're not in the banana republic where you just you know take things. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, uh, and it's, even a court of competent jurisdiction will have to we'll we'll have, have to, to deal, go through the trial and everything. If if um, our friend who called in wants us to dwell on the matter of the petitions that were made against the man. That's a different subject we'll altogether. Address that I mean, sufficiently. Sufficient, so sufficiently, yeah. I mean, it's been two weeks, you know, that that's happened. So um, I think we should just stay on the subject. Uh, we're very responsible here. We can't go beyond what we're, what we're supposed to discuss and then begin to trade on things that could, you know, lead us to libel and, and uh, other innuendos. Nobody wants to do that. And, and looking at the, the fresh breath we have now and then, um, we expect the, the, in terms of administration, in terms of administration, in terms of the way the Supreme Court operates, we expect a more effective Supreme Court. Now, since you, if somebody is having health constraints, that might even affect his total inputs, I mean, the outputs, the way he administers. Yeah, you supervise. Yes, yes. Because. So, do you see this happening under Justice Kyrie Ariwala? I think it will be the younger. It will be disastrous if it's a more of the same, you know, scenario that we end up with, mm. because uh, all of them, and I'm stressing it, it is unprecedented. All the remaining 14 justices of the Supreme Court unanimously agree mm. that 
they are ogre. <laughs> it's not the way. That's the first time. They passed a vote of no confidence. Mm. So all of them know the problems, and I believe all of them know the solutions. Mm. So if one of them takes over, and it's, a, it's more of the same, that will be, <laughs> that will be trust me. Mm. So I don't expect Which it. is calling us from Anambra States. Yeah, good, good evening, Ayo. Yes, good evening, Uche. Yeah, good evening, the panelists. Good evening, good evening. sir. Yeah, this is Uche calling from Anambra. I think uh, they, we, have, they, we have to learn a lesson from this. Uh, Ayo, you could you remember that uh, what happened to Onage? The, the Chief Justice, this correct one, supposed not to have taken that, that, uh, that position. We are fully aware that if the federal government came up with some allegations that were not that were unfounded. Now, look at this is Kama coming mm. uh, uh, to, to him now. But that's by the way. Now, you can imagine this current spring, uh, the, 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 the this one that has just resigned. What happened? Look at the judgment he gave in Imo State when Franco said that that he would. Thank you. I don't think we should double into the judgment of the Supreme Court. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. well, we, that's the apex court. That's the apex court. Yeah. I think he was trying to compare yes, I've had, I've listened the to last day. Like that. <laughs> yes, I, like, because of the judgment he delivered on Imo State, yeah. uh, Imo State, I read something like that. But Justice Oputa was the one that said the Supreme Court is final, not because it is infallible, yeah. but it is infallible because it, it is, is final. final. That's, I can't do anything. And the rest of us, <laughs> the rest of us who are no members of the bar bench are leaving. So I think we just need to leave that. You, you can't do anything. You just have to leave uh, with that. And ultimately, when we see, you know, the attempt by this administration to actually clean up the um, judiciary earlier in the life of this administration, it received a lot of, you know, uh, uh, criticisms and everything. Yeah. But do you think that action paid off, or do you think that that action had a kind of effect on the conduct of our judges? I, I doubt. I doubt if it did. And um, I'd like to substantiate my point by saying that um, sometime in 2021, uh, the now former CGN you know, at the Iftar dinner, the president, you know, had uh, with um, justices, you know, of, of the Supreme Court. I and mean, I think some of that judges too. Justice Tanko Ayuba was quoted to have said that he cannot remember, you know, um, the president, and I'm referring to President Muhammad Buhari, as requesting of any favor you know, from judiciary. Um, again, that's like giving a, a clean bill of health, you know, saying, look, we have always been independent. But the question we want to ask ourselves, can that claim be entirely correct that this government, you know, in its seven year period, never made any attempts, you know, to make most the judiciary or most of the judiciary or make the judiciary part an of, part of yeah, an appendage of, of the executive. Exactly. Again, that, that, is, that is arguable. So I, looking back at the attempt that was made you know, at the inception of this administration, I doubt if, if, we, ha if we have had any radical reforms you know, within the system. Yes, we have had, we have had calls made about um, the former CGN saying that, um, or trying to punish um, judges who were giving conflicting expertise orders or assuming jurisdiction over cases that mm. they ought not to, that are not in their purview and all that. Beyond that, I, I, I can't phantom any radical, you know, um, developments, you know, within within that sector. We still have cases, allegations, you know, of um, you know judges dabbling to you know uh, acts of corruption and, and all that. So, um, I think there is a lot of work to do. Um, those who have raised concerns about the performance of the man who had just left now have the job, you know, trust on their laps. And I think that given the benefit of insights, they, they should be in you know, a better place to do um, a more decent job. So Nigerians are eager to see what, you know, what will play out, in, you know, in the days ahead. I, mm. I, I, I don't see any, you know, very radical, 
you know, uh, uh, developments within that, within that. Yes, judiciary is the hope of the common man, but then we've had cases where, you know, big men gets, you know, sentenced, and then members of, of, the, of the ruling class give them clean bill of it, and they just walk back. Mm -hmm. So you just wonder if, you know, you know uh, the, the, the intelligence of Nigerians have been, you know, played upon and, and all that. All right.